sometimes you hear people say, we're going to have a law requiring that you wear seat belts. Because if you're not wearing a seat belt and you have an accident and you turn into a vegetable, you'll be a burden on society. You'll be a burden on taxpayers. Well, that's not a problem of liberty. Because if I own Walter Williams, then I have the right to take risks with Walter Williams' body. I don't have a right to take risks with your body, but I have a right to take risks with my own. So if I'm not wearing a seatbelt and I have an accident and I become a burden, you know, I become a vegetable and a burden on society, that's not a problem of liberty. That's a problem of socialism. That is because no one should be forced to take care of anybody for any reason. Nobody should be forced. That's a problem of socialism. So, so here's what the government is telling us. They're saying, since we have to take care of you, you make a mistake, your poor judgment, we have the right to tell you what to do. Since we have this Obamacare, if you get diabetes, we're going to have to take care of you. So we have the right to regulate the amount of sugar that you eat. We have the right to regulate the amount of salt. That is, if you give government the right to take care of people, then government has a right to tell you what to do. I mean, it's kind of like my mother. You know, when, when boys get around 15, 13, 14, start smelling themselves, hormones going, they think they can take over the house. And my mother told me, you know, I was acting you know, like I want to take over the house. She said, look, boy, as long as you're living under my roof, and I'm taking care, and I'm paying the bills, you're going to do what I say. Now, that's all right when you're raising children, but what about adults? Should we have government tell us, as long as we're paying for you, you're going to do what we say? I reject that, and I think most Americans ought to reject it. Surely our founding fathers would have rejected it.